She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad feet. Alright, hi guys, it's okay and we'll come back to my channel. <laughs> I love that. I don't care what you all say, I love it. It's here to stay. But anyway, so today I have an oldie but a goodie type of video, which is where I let you know what you're doing wrong in your life because obviously my life is perfect and you can learn a thing or two from me. <laughs> guys, I'm a flop. But I'm learning things, so as I learn, I teach you guys as well. So today we're going to talk about reasons why you don't have friends, boo boo. I'm tired of hearing people constantly talk about how they don't have that many friends and yes it's cool to have like really two good friends and stuff but some of you are trifling you don't have any friends at all because your friends are done out here okay and if you do one or two or three or four or ten of these things then this is exactly why you don't have any friends and now that you know you can do something about it you're welcome you complain a lot Man, since you're always complaining out here all the time. Let someone ask you how you are and already you're on the negative. My G, you're already on the negative. Oh, I didn't sleep well. I woke on the wrong side of the bed. Oh, it's just that, oh, my husband was snoring. Oh, it's just that I hit my heart, my, my colleagues. Eh? My family are problematic. Ha, eh? ah, ha, All the time, like all the time you're complaining. to work on it stop complaining find some positive things out of life and focus on them complaining gets old really fast no one is going to want to spend time with you no one's going to want to be around you if all you do is moan and whinge stop it you're selfish yeah straight up you're selfish people are tired of it when we were younger and people actually cared about losing friendships when people actually cared about what people thought of them yeah you know we would keep you around but since we're grown now, we're tired. We is tired. Some of you people, yeah, only want to do certain things for your friends when you want something in return. I've got several of these people. You know who you are. I ain't gonna mention you by name because you kind of like, you, you tend to come for me. <laughs> like, I care. Every time you guys are in a good space, yeah, you don't give a damn about anybody but yourselves. And then when you need money, when you need someone to help pick up your kid from school, when you need someone to do something, some, you know, let your car not break down. Now you finally realize you've got other people, yeah? Now you finally realize that you, you're a human who needs, listen, you, stay an island, didn't it? Since you created the island yourself, you better bask in it. Take off your clothes, sunbathe, enjoy it. Because this is the place that you've built for yourself and you're gonna stay there by yourself. <sighs> you're a poop starer. Nobody what like even in the friendship group right certain people want will confide in you about certain things and not in others about the same thing okay it's it's weird but it kind of makes sense like because you know your friend group you know that certain people have big mouths you know certain people can't keep things to themselves you're probably that person and if you are that person then that's why people don't want to talk to you or confide in you about certain things learn to keep secrets learn to keep your mouth shut and it's, when you know something about someone, you don't have to go to someone else to tell someone about some, about some, like all the time. Like keep it to yourself, enjoy your own space, and you know, drink water and hydrate, man, and stay in your lane. Like it's not that difficult. Stop starting trouble all the time. I had this friend. Like let me tell you, I wasn't even planning on telling this story, but let me tell you, yeah. When I was in school, I was in a friendship group, right? That had like six of us in the clique. And one of us was problematic. Sis, you know yourself, okay? I know you're not watching my videos. <laughs> I know you don't mess with me like that. <laughs> but just in case I blow up one day and you see this video, you're, you're problematic. I hope you've changed. But basically this girl, like she found this note um, in one of our other friends' bag and whatnot and stuff, read it and instead of just leaving it alone because this note was like freaking six months old. Okay, it wasn't that long, but it was still a long time, right? Sis decides to go to school specifically for the girl who was talking to our friend to get beaten up by another popular girl. I don't know if you guys are following, yeah? But she was a friend. Hmm. 
<sighs> I don't even want to assign names to these people. Just know that it was a messier situation and it was a story that was dead out here, but she resuscitated it. She specifically told us that she wanted to see problems in school. She told us that she wanted to see a fight. Life had been dead for a hot minute and she wanted to start. She said this. This was her sole objective for doing what she did. And she actually did just that. I actually thought it was, it was, it was a hoax. I actually thought that it was just something she said on the bus and when we get to school, like, it's not going to be it. Random me. <laughs> it's not going to be a thing. But, oh boy, was I wrong. And she started this trouble and unfortunately the girl that she thought was a neek and was going to get beaten up, beaten up, did not get beaten up. The popular girl is the one who got beaten up and she, bless her, but... I think she kind of lost her popularity since, you know, that whole situation and stuff. Like, you... Listen, stop meddling in people's lives. Stop starting problems. Like, we already have a lot. Especially in our grown age, man. That one, yeah, back in the day, like, I can forgive her. You're young, you're not supposed to be evil, but, like, you, just, you can be foolish, it's allowed. But right now, how do you guys have time? We've got bills to pay. Even, like, I got a letter from these TV licensed people talking about I need to pay my... I'm not paying it. Listen, all I do is watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, and YouTube. Don't get me to pay your freaking TV license. I'm not doing it. All right, calm down, sis. <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm stressed out about these people. Now you, you think I'm going to create stories about other people. No. So I'm wondering where you people have time from. Sort it out, okay? Start a business if you're bored, if you've got time on your hands. Ah, uh -uh. You do not forget and you keep score. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Sometimes you just have to pick up your L and, and go home with it, okay? Cuddle it for a minute and then burn that L up and try to do something else, something more productive and stuff. But what you do not do is constantly compare yourself to your friends and keep scores or like, you know, you know those people, you know those people, especially if you're African, you know those people don't like. Those people who will like, say one of your friends, one of your friends buys a, 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 um, a nice car and stuff and then you see them there they are waddling all over the place getting a loan just so they can buy a, a better car sis are you for real you want to be in debt because of some next person who has actually bought the car legitly like you what make it make sense that's that's not okay i see it even with my parents age group and stuff yeah where like if one of their kids does well in school it's a problem hey now we can't sleep well well in the house. Hey, Chineke. Hey, yeah? Just because this one's child has gotten an A star, you think I have to do the same? Excuse me? Excuse me? My brain takes after your brain, Famalam. to be a genius when you're subpar. What are you talking about? Don't do that. This is not for you, mum and dad. Obviously, you guys are perfect and so am I, so it's not about us. This is about these peasants out here. <laughs> this leads into the next problem is you are jealous. How can you be jealous of your friends, eh? Ah, come now. Like, jealousy really just has no, no place in, in friendship groups. What you can have are healthy competitions though, where your friend's success helps motivate you and keeps you grinding harder and working harder and, and just opening yourself up to more opportunities. Fantastic. That's brilliant. You should do that, okay? And you can even go to them since they're already winning. You can go to them and ask them how they're doing certain things and you do the same things or do them better and stuff like that. Healthy competition is amazing. Everybody needs that. But I'm talking about those people who literally hate the fact that their friends are doing better. Okay, those people who literally pray for their friends' demises and stuff. Like, you can't stand the fact that your friend is in a happy relationship. You can't stand that your friend just recently bought a house and you don't even have a bicycle to your name, okay? Like, the fact that you just you just hate how much, um, successful they are, their academics or their business or their whatever it is. Like, you just, you can't stand it. So you stay awake every night tossing and turning, trying to either sabotage it or just do better just to spite them, just to show that you are better than them 
yo, you have a problem. Like, you need to get that checked by a doctor, like someone who is certified for these things because that is not all right. Brethren, that's too much. Ha, huh, gossip. You can't stop, but you just, you just talk all the time. You talk. One friend can't come confide in you. Hey, you turn around, pick up the phone, call another person and start talking about, hey, yay. Yeah. It's not necessary. Okay, I get it, yeah. We all gossip, okay? We all enjoy a good chin wag every now and again. And some people's lives, but they'd be saucy out here. It's literally impossible for you to not talk about it, sis. I get it. I get it. I get it. But try not to win it. Or at least try to not get caught. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's toxic, okay? Don't, don't do it. Um, your friends won't like it. You won't like it if your friends do that to you. And... Anyway, you already you already know that this doesn't work because you're all by yourself right now. That's why you're watching my video because you have no more friends left. You're a gossiper. Stop gossiping. Even you church people. Hey, Chine, can you church people? This is why your church also doesn't have people in there anymore. Okay, this family is left. That family is left. These people don't even come to visit anymore. This don't because you talk. That's all you know how to do. You just gossip. Church board meetings, no longer talking about Christ's work moving forward. Constantly yapping on about God's children. Stop it. You are a bully. I know we're not in high school anymore, but some of you are still bullies, okay? Some of you think that you're funny. Some of you think that th your friends get it and they just accept you for who you are. Some of you think all types of nonsenses, yeah? Stop it. You're a bully. You really need to look within yourself and be honest with yourself. Are your jokes hurtful? Some of your friends have only been friends with you for so long because they've been friends with you for so long. Literally, that's it. Because sometimes people find it hard to let go. But do they care about you? No. Do they rate you? No. They probably have events behind your back. Why? Because you're a bully and nobody wants you around them. There is nothing wrong with being assertive. Absolutely, okay? It's fine. When you don't want certain things or you want certain things, it's okay to gun for those things. However, there's a difference between being assertive and just being a jerk, okay? Things don't always have to go your way. Sometimes you have to let other people, especially the friendship group, okay? Because what, what are you really benefiting from if everything just happens to be your way and stuff? It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for you, honestly. It doesn't elevate you to higher places. I understand that work, fair enough. You might get a promotion or whatever. But in a friendship group, it does nothing except push people away from you. You know, chill out. Ha! And then there's those people now who, like, every time they get in a relationship, they put their friends in the corner. Bruh, are you alright? Okay, so listen, yeah, we be riding or dying together and everything, yeah? We'll be rocking with each other and I get in a relationship and I still include you in things. I still invite you to places. I still, you know, make time to come see you and be with you and do things together in a little friendship group and whatever. But the minute you get a man or you get a girl, you want to push me to the side and, and it's just about you and your girl. Listen, listen, okay. If that's what you want to do, that's perfectly fine. But understand that you might have, you know burned a bridge that you cannot come back to okay i'm not saying that when you get a man or you get a girl that you know you have to spend less time with them and more with us no man descend these things learn to juggle them up nicely and balance them and stuff like that at the end of the day you are your own person and your partner is their own person as well you're allowed to have separate lives so to speak right and if you don't want it to be separate, we can involve everybody. Let's all go do things together every now and again. But if it's just you and that person for such a long time, like you cast us aside, we're trying to reach you, you don't pick up our calls, we're trying to text you, you don't answer back and whatnot, yeah? We're just seeing you on the gram, stunting all day, every day, flexing, yeah? And then you break up and you come back. <laughs> so, Tofia, what? not come back to me what do you mean what do i look like a mumu eh do i look like a doormat to you yeah and it happens not once not twice three listen no it's a wrap this happened yeah with, with a friend of mine yeah and bless him i got where he was coming from and whatnot yeah but he got every time he would have a new girlfriend he would always like push me aside dump me and whatnot and stuff and i was just like all right you know what cool 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 i take it i, t I take my l yeah each time, every time, each time, every time. And guys, when I tell you I am the biggest mumu you will ever come across, you ever set your eyes on, believe me, 
but that's changed yeah because 2020 has, has kind of got me a little bit woke in it but this guy would do this to me all the time and sure enough those relationships would never really last and when they when they die when they fizzle out guess who he's going back to me nah man friendships don't work that way okay i'm there for you you're there for me like we just you know come on man like it's wild it's it's just insane i get it when love is new love is fresh it's nice like we've all been there done that i get it but if you're gonna do that if you're gonna cast people aside and just do you guys make sure you know you won't ever have to come back in it because even those people who are going to get married to each other and this is this is all they ever do and stuff yeah guys who's coming to your wedding <laughs> Like, yo, we're planning a whole extravagant wedding, yeah? Inviting us to celebrate your love, but like, where do we know you from? Where do we know you from? Nah, legit, where do we know you from? Because, listen, we haven't spoken in how long? Because you're with your partner all the time. Like, now you want... Nah, man, it can just be you and your partner, innit? Happy days. That's what you guys wanted, didn't it? Like, do that. Ha. Huh. Anyway, I'm getting vexed unnecessarily and I didn't even have a list for this thing, but that's as much as I can come up with. So if you are suffering from one of those things that I have listed, yeah, this is exactly why you don't have any friends. Fix up, look sharp, do better, okay? 2021 is around the corner. You don't want to go in there all by your lonesome self, okay? Get you some friends, do a countdown and all this and all that get a nice little fine because you're supposed to be on lockdown and not doing nothing but um you know you're an adult so you you know you've got 10 grand chilling in your account why not <laughs> go for it anyway i hope you liked this video uh remember to like comment subscribe and share with your family and friends and as always remember to be the you you're supposed to be because that's the best version of you you could ever be and until next time Cheerio!